Okay, welcome back everyone to this more dungeon crawl stone suit. Ah, I'm gonna go and finish off this character, or kind of get kind of close. Vampiric battle axe means that a lot of this place is gonna be fairly trivial, I suppose. Like it shouldn't be too hard. Um, yeah, especially with poison resistance. All I need to do now is really find a flaming weapon, and I can do swamp as well pretty easily. But Really, like it doesn't matter. I think the vamp weapon can just completely outpace any damage that a hydra could do, so it's not too big of a deal. Anyway, um, so I'm back, and I had a bit of a think around uh, about, you know, about how I want the series to develop, and I think that, like, honestly, it should just be only semi-serious. I think the first episode is a little bit too serious. I'm not really sure though. Like, I think um, it's better for me to play a game and then. Ooh, Okay, let's just make sure that wasn't uh, that wasn't a distortion. But I think it's better for me to play these games just fairly normally, and then uh, have different styles of like content. I think because like I can have you know um, oh, actually probably heroes in there. It's not even necessary, but I did it. Another wand of hasting, probably not even worth buying. It's only three hasting potions. Want a teleport though? That's a good buy. Um, yeah, but what was I saying? So, I think that it's just probably better for me to play these fairly casually and then when I'm doing actual, like, tutorial content I can be more serious. But I will still, I will still try to, like, point out some things that I'm doing. I'm just not gonna be, uh, doing this like a tutorial, I guess. Like, it is making it harder, it will make it harder for me to play if I do make it more tutorial-like because I have to play it more slowly and that occasionally does mess me up a little bit because I realize that I'm pressing the wrong buttons or something. It happens. Oddly enough. My decision making is not so great when it's playing slow, but it's a bit better when it's faster. I tend to make good decisions. Because when I'm talking slowly, I'm not actually making, I'm not actually thinking about the game, I'm just kind of just blanking. So really having the, um, it's not actually that useful. Yeah, like like right there, I was just like completely blanked out. Um, here we can probably get away with vile floods, and then just smacking. Yeah. All right, we're looking for fire resistance. Okay, we got the exact same plate down to the letter. That's fine. Check out what this is. Fire resistance. Okay, that's good. That's probably gonna be our late game armor. We don't know. Check out what this is though. Positive energy. Okay, we don't want that. All right, plates. Just gonna make sure that I don't have any other plates. All right, good. So that's fine. Okay, make sure to kill the blue guy first. He can summon some nasty stuff, and you don't really want to handle that. Uh, Fan of Gales is not a bad thing to buy, but I don't think it's that necessary right now. Um, by the time we get by the time we get enough evocations for it, it's probably we can afford it then. So it's not that great. All right, we need to kill this thing before it mutates me. He just mutated me. God damn it. Um, blurry. Hmm. Probably worthwhile to just. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder. Is it worth it to just cure out of that? What could we possibly? Okay, we could lose blink. Okay, that's probably worth it then. Whatever. It's un. It's not that likely that I get mutated again. So I guess it's just fine to just go ahead and do it. Okay, this guy's being a scumbag a little bit. This red guy. I'm gonna walk around because I know that he's just gonna try to follow. And he's gonna get killed from behind like an idiot. As the item doesn't do anything there. Thankfully. All right, let's head out and let's do snake pit. Normally I would do swamp, but with an axe, you know, it's a little bit scary. And with vamp weapons, this is just like so easy. Um, but I'm trying not to play like incredibly foolishly because this is still still trying to role play the first player, I guess. But I guess that would mean that I do want to <laughs> play as ridiculously suicidal as I can. But yeah, nah. we'll just handle this. Oh god, come on, work this. Oh god, back. All right, plus one pair of boots. I did not. I thought that was the same boots. Those are the same type of boots, but apparently they weren't, so whatever. Alright, here I'm fairly comfortable tabbing just because 
Vampiric is so damn good. Uh, Vampiric is very good when you have big crowds, but it's also very good in a 1v1 situation because you just don't take as much damage and you heal. It's pretty overpowered, honestly. I think that it's probably the most busted of the brands. Speed's also pretty good. Um, everything else is like, it's just electrocution, anti magic, speed, bam. Those are like the good, the top, top brand, uh, top brands. Everything else is like kind of mediocre. It's decent, but like not amazing. Like, Flame and Cold have their own uses. Protection is, like, fairly useless. And, uh, Vorpal is, like, whatever, right? Okay, well, this is our... I guess this is what happens when you don't have resistances. Let's quaff a resistance potion. Still might die. Holy shit. Don't you just love when this happens to you? When electric damage hits you, like a ton of bricks, and then you're like, what? What is this? What are we doing right now? Thankfully, the vamp is going to help us survive a little bit. I'm going to have to kill the gray guy first, though. He does a lot of damage. Now that we have a bit of mana, we can heroism, and that's going to make us, yeah, just completely annihilate the place. I'm going to ID this potion. It's a flaming battle axe. It's perfect. Um, it's going to mean that we can do swamp with literally no stress. All right, definitely going to heroism here. All right, definitely going to die here. Like, this is not, this is just, this is just stupid, like, it's actually just dumb. Is that distortion? No. I wonder why it keeps, um, putting false moles on my game. That's kind of weird. Christ, we've already had to use two resist potions for two enemies. That's incredible. Um, really don't expect that to happen, but, okay, let's use Heroes and Finesse, and it's just barely enough to survive. That's great. If we didn't have Vamp, like, we would be in such bad position. Like, say what you want, defend it the, any way you want, you're not going to be able to get away from the fact that this is just ridiculous. Um, probably not going to go for the vamp, uh, for the weapon, for the executioner's axe at any point, because, honestly, the battle axe is probably good enough. And I don't, I'm not going to get it to Mindalay because, well, I've got a vamp battle axe that doesn't speak for itself, really. Like, it does kind of speak for itself. Vamp battle axe is overpowered, thusly. We should be using it. Fairly straightforward reasoning, I guess. Alright, cool. I guess we can go ahead and brand weapon the um the axe of freezing. Uh it's draining. It's worse, but that's fine. We don't really care that much. I'm gonna definitely enchant the battle axe of vamp though. The more damage it does, the more it heals, so it's like even more crazy. Like, obviously this is not as ridiculous as, like, a Berserker, because you can't Berserk and just get, like, ridiculous health, but it's still good because you can Heroism Finesse and it's almost the same thing. The only difference is you're ever so slightly squishier. Um, honestly, I do prefer to be a Berserker, but, you know, I always prefer to be a Berserker. But you can see here that it really does cut down the time that I need to, like, actually do stuff. I can just very quickly tap through pretty much everything, except this guy. I have to Heroism and Finesse for him. Like the, that's not a cool enemy to fight. Like that's, look at this. This is just ridiculous. What? Like it's so swingy that I actually am forced to do that. Like, uh, it's not a great weapon. Plus zero is not good. Guardian Spirit, not as good as Regen. Like combat with that enemy is just so damn swingy that like it's impossible for me to, oh god. Okay, definitely to haste here. You know, I can just might as well. This will probably just work. It's fine. Just use the strategy of just don't worry about it. This is not a strategy I would normally employ, by the way. This is only because I'm doing vamp and it's very easy. Like, uh, otherwise I would not ever attempt this. I would very slowly pull um, the entire thing out. But since it's vamp, like, it, it just works. This is why I say vamp is pretty broken. It just has so much power. It's crazy. Alright, recharge that haste wand. ABA. Ironically, the electric, um, the shock serpent is actually worse when I'm surrounded by enemies because I could just heal off them, not the, uh, and not really have to deal with the enemy, I guess. Just kind of kill it. Oops. Oh god, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, we got thrown out. I guess that's fine. Not a big deal. 
All right, these guys are not our boys. Oh shit! Okay, we need to heal here by tabbing. Yeah, like vampiric man. <laughs> turns it turns your like tabbing skill into like actual survivability. It's so hilarious. Look at that. It's disgusting. What am I gonna get my damn heroism does not last long. Probably do need to train a bit more invocations, honestly. Nine might not be enough. Um yeah, this is pretty good training so far. Fighting is getting high. Kinda like that. Do like high fighting. Love getting twenty seven. Gonna heroism finesse here again, because like I said, it's completely suicidal to not do it against a shock serpent. Oh well, in that case it didn't matter. Like shock seven, like the reason why shock seven sucks is because they the combat swinging. It's just you can either one shot it or you can just like do nothing and then it kills you and you're like okay that was unfair. Like not much changed between the time that I was almost dying to this shock seven and then when I one shot it. Literally like pretty much nothing changed. I don't think anything actually did change. So just goes to show. Um swamp. Alright, let's go ahead and just walk around a little bit. Enchant that battle axe for the huge. We pick up something good. Uh, scroll of blinking, excellent. We also picked up a heal wounds potion. Good. Alright, well, swamp should be fairly straightforward, I guess. Oh, we just TP'd. Because we tabbed the. Uh, Spiny Toad, so quickly. Okay, here's Jogren, just a very easy answer, just flight. Don't even really need to fight him. Sorry, don't even really need to, like, I don't know, mine up or haste. He's not very strong. I don't know why, but he's just not that strong. He's sometimes strong, like, that's the problem. But I wouldn't really, like, I would use one consumable on him, but if I was uncomfortable, but in this scenario, because I don't care. Christ, what's up with this, uh, ridiculous surplus of ran weapons. And what's with me not getting vampiric? God. Scum. Yeah, we're getting a lot of brand weapons today. <laughs> like, if I could get this many on a speed run, I'd be really happy. Because it means so many chances to get a... Okay, I guess I don't need the flaming weapon. I might try it. No, no, no. It's actually better for me not to use the flaming weapon. Because vamp will actually heal me more than the hydra will ever do to me. Because I have armor and dodge now. So I suppose it's not worthwhile for me to even switch to the... um flaming because I'll lose all that power. Sentinel's mark means I need to rush upstairs as quickly as possible. Okay, since that's not doesn't seem to be an option, I'm gonna haste heroism finesse and then just tab through everything. This would have worked even if I wasn't vampiric by the way, just so you know. Like I said, this is like a completely different edge case now of the game. It's not it's no longer um it's no longer just a Minotaur fighter. It's a Minotaur fighter with a vampiric weapon. So it's a little bit different. I'm gonna just try to mention where I think that the uh, differences are. Alright, cool. Artifact plus. Could be good, could be bad. Probably good. Strength plus three. That's pretty much just a regular glove, honestly, and it's not worth it. Um, I'd rather have more dex than strength in this case. I already have enough strength. 25 is pretty much the most I'm going to need. I need maybe 27 total for gold dragon armor, which is not exactly what I care for. Yeah, so even with a 13-headed Hydra, it's barely scratching me. It's not a good idea, though, because the second I get out of combat with it, it's going to start doing a lot of damage to me. Um, the reason why it wasn't doing damage there was because my healing was outpacing it. So I have a feeling that maybe I should switch to the Vampiric Axe, uh, to the Hand Axe, just for this floor. Like, who knows, though, honestly. Not really sure, to be honest. Okay, this is a plus... 8 Battle Axe of MR+. Plus. That's not a bad weapon, but it's just not good enough to compete with the other weapons. Like, the Vamp Axe is just way too strong, like, to be honest. It's kind of disgusting how strong it is. Like, that's... But it is a weapon that... That over there... Oh, God. See, this is what I mean. This is just... It's just ridiculous. Okay, my headbutt killed it. Are you kidding me, dude? Really? You do all that, and then you die to a headbutt. You are so bad at this game. Okay, see, with the flame, the Hydra's become, like, completely, like, useless against me. Fire Dragon armor. Hmm, that's not bad. Probably gonna see a Fire Crab if we saw a Fire Dragon. It's just 
in the theme of this font. This looks like a, it could be a vampire, oh uh, sorry, not the vampire, um, okay that's a double fire dragon, I don't know what this is all about now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and eat some food, switch over to the vamp up and just vamp my way through this. Didn't really need to, but I don't know, kinda like it for the style points. Switch back to the flame weapon when I see a Hydra. It's probably worth it. Yeah, I think it's worth it to actually have done that. Okay, fair enough. I've learned a little bit today, I suppose. It is definitely worth it to use the flame. Get a heroism finesse here, because this is just ridiculous. It's too much work. Once you heroism finesse, it's just really strong. You're not going to die at all. Unless you're like really in a terrible situation, but that's rare. Um, you can see here that Aquara is at 5 piety, where it used to be at 6, that's completely fine, like, just don't worry about it, guys. Okay, I want to go get that resistance potion, just because it's a good potion. Very rare as well, and we used up a whole bunch before. Yeah, so vamping, vamp tabbing is not a great idea, but you can do it. I mean, it's just not amazing, I think. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to vaults. So I'm probably going to be, because I have vamp, I'm probably going to be doing the standard, um, just vaults 3 rune, uh, sorry, vaults 5 rune. That's like fairly standard if you get like decent equips. I, I still like Abyss more, but recently because of the speedruns, I've been a little bit more, I guess, happy to do a, a classic vaults 5 speedrun on a Minotaur. It's just a lot easier for me. I don't know. For some reason, Abyss has just been like completely screwing with me for like the last 20, 30 games. I'm just like, nah, don't want to play with you anymore. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, it is. Plus five ring of strength is useless. Gives us literally one evade, so it's pretty much there's no point. All right, so we want a cloak. Um, there is one in Snake Four. It's probably worth picking up. It's one AC. And we don't care too much about turn count, it's not important. So any little boost we can get matters. So one thing that like I don't know. Like at this point in time, um I think like a lot of players would get quite cocky with their character. And they try to bite off more than they could shoot. And that's probably just not I'm just gonna try to like kinda put a damp on that a little bit. Like I think that it's not worth it. Let's go ahead and put this protection from Gola. Having one pip of RC and R, uh, RF is actually really nice. Um, it's just it just helps you not take a billion damage from uh, giants and other like crazy enemies. It's just helpful, I guess. All right, bam! Once again, just completely, utterly shutting down any hope that uh, those guys are going to get out safely. Let's go ahead and buy all of these potions. Almost, yeah. That's a pretty good shop. Any shop where you're buying like the whole thing is <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, probably don't need this battle axe. Hmm. Yeah, probably don't need it, honestly. I don't really see a situation where I'd use it over the vamp. Um hmm. yeah, I don't really see it. Like I just even if it wasn't undead that did cold damage, I already have cold. I could just kill it without using the weapons. It's not really that necessary. Christ, Ogre Mages, man, they changed. Alright. Uh, nothing really in here. I guess you could go for the Fan of Kales. Not really a fan though. Get it? It's a pun. <laughs> oh man, this is like the 50th Minotaur we've done on this channel. God, we do too many Minotaurs, man. But, I don't know. I like playing Minotaur. I understand why Mega Slime has like 20 Minotaur wins, even though he doesn't play that much. So easy, so straightforward. No gimmicks, no tricks, it's just a melee. Is that another brand weapon? Oh, okay, it wasn't. I was gonna say, like, geez, did I just see another one? It's ridiculous. It's too many. Okay, here is a great spot where I would just run away and then regroup over here. Just because those guys can abyss me and it's a pain in the ass, I don't wanna have to stand near them. They're also gonna summon a whole bunch of crap. Standing here means that they have to, like, literally come at me one by one and then they'll all die because like nothing can beat me in a one on one fight other than maybe Tiamat but even then I can just kind of go away, walk away from them a little bit okay this is like promoting bad habits but 
I'm just going to go ahead and walk right in the middle of them and just tap. It's a lot easier for me. Like, it, it is bad habit. Like, this does give me bad habits. I, I will admit that freely. Just It's just very bad for me to do this, but, you know, it's so easy to do it. I just want to do it. It's Demon Spawn Gladiator. Just completely useless. Thanks, Tidget, for your free kill. As you can see, uh, even with the amount of spam that I'm using, uh, Aquara is still completely okay with me just being alive, so... You know, that tells you anything, it just means, really, that... Okay, I need to definitely walk away from that corner, because I don't want that purple robe, uh, sorcerer to summon anything bad, so just get away from there. Um, is there anything here? I'm going to use Control x Nope, okay. Control x brings up uh, all the items on the screen. It's sometimes useful if um, you're looking for like a whole bunch of through a whole bunch of items and it's really confusing. But I'm personally not a fan because it's just kind of a pain for me. Plus five ring of evasion is amazing, and that's going to be staying on for the rest of the game most likely. Um, as I've said before, um, if you have heavy armor, you want to get more evade. If you want, if you have more evade, you want to get heavy ar uh, more armor. So like, yeah. Just naturally flowing on from that fact. This is a superfluous pair of gloves. Okay, moving on. So again, we're down to five pistol piety with Aquara. Notice how it really doesn't matter. As long as I can use heroism and finesse, it's completely fine to just drop to as low as you need. Realistically, it doesn't make any difference at all. Though it does, it does, it does feel different. I know, because I don't like having low piety either. But you know, at the end of the day. Aquara's piety grows really fast, and it should just be treated like a completely renewable resource. Like I'm just gonna heroism finesse here, just because I can. It makes the fight easy. Anything that makes your fight easy is worth it. Don't don't stress yourself over these things. All right, this cloak is giving me three int. Doesn't really make a difference. Uh, I'll replace it at the earliest possible time. Another demon spawn glider of Aquara. I wonder if there's like a casual leak or something that's um, on today, because it's a lot of demon spawns. That specific build, too. Alright, get marked, go upstairs. Very basic strategy, don't try to fight more than you can. Uh, chew, even with the vamp weapon, still not acting too cocky. Um, only acting cocky when it actually benefits, benefits me to act cocky, I guess. Alright, gonna turn invocations off. It's probably good enough. Um, now I normally shouldn't, I wouldn't do this normally, but I'm just going to turn axes on, just because I kind of want more damage. Uh, once you get past Mindalay, it it's very diminishing returns, so it's usually not worth it to do this kind of stuff, but we'll do it. Alright, going to Heroes and Finesse here, because I just don't want that Demonologist to summon something really bad. Mess me up. Probably wasn't that necessary, but I did it. Alright, Mark, go upstairs. Okay. Doesn't matter if there's enemies there, just go upstairs, wait for the Mark to end, then you can re- Refight them, I guess. Um, probably not going to do Vaults 5 uh, right now. So, a lot of new players will tend to just jump into Vaults 5 and die instantly. Um, the right, the correct way to do it is to go through depths first and then just do Vaults at about like level 23, level 24. Alright, so Skull of Enchant Armor is good. Summoning, Magic Mapping. I think we can also pick up these. Okay, we just picked up the whole shop. Again, this is like pretty insane luck in regards to, uh, um, sorry, probably do want that, yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm just trying, trying to think about what I want. Uh, do we want the fire ring? I don't really want it anymore. I guess we can drop all this food, like that's too much, too much food anyway. Scroll of climate, definitely gonna go for the wand now. The armor is already being established, and we got a heal wounds wand, which is pretty much going to complete the set, and it's going to make us... There's pretty much no reason not to now, I guess. Uh, not to win. Like, every single venue has been covered at this point. Like, I've got every single possible item that I want. Um, very, very... Like, even the, like, super, like, luxury items like Vamp up, we already got, so it's like... It's literally nothing we would want more, I think. What's this? Fly decks? No. Like, even like Gold Dragon doesn't really matter anymore, honestly. It's just not that important. I think, um, yeah, like, gauging character strength is also a really good uh, trait of like a new player. Once you get that, you, you start to feel a little bit 
more confident in your characters because you understand what it needs to win, I guess. Alright, that's fun. Entry weavers. So let me explain that again, because I think I may have glossed over the point a little bit too easily. So what I'm oh god, we need to heroism finesse here right now. Might have even hasted it, but then I realized that's oh, not that important. Okay, we're strong enough now to take them all on. What I'm trying to say is um I have a theory of crawl, and uh, a lot of the time that theory comes tends to be true. Um, there's actually a lot of people that tell me that it's happening to them, and I'm like, yeah, I know. I know that's going to happen. Um, I recommend a lot of players to do it, but essentially my theory is that um, when you win a game, you will win more games. Where there's one, like when it rains, it pours. That's essentially the idea. Oh god, we are completely trapped. I don't exactly want to teleport away right now, because A, I have Vampiric, so it doesn't matter. Otherwise I would teleport. Um, and B, it's just faster to kill them all. Um, and I was marked. I don't want to I don't want to fight people. I don't want to teleport while I'm marked. Cause it's gonna mess me up. Like I'm just gonna get more and more injured, and then have to keep teleporting until it works. Or drink cancellation. Either way, for this case, for that case specifically, it was easier for me to just tab. But as I said before, it's most likely, like in a lot of instances, you're not gonna want to do that. All right, I was looking for that cloak. Don't know why that took me so long. All right, probably don't need the three int. Um, two armor is probably better. Six. I guess we'll train some more int later. I suppose that probably works in my favor. But yeah, um, where it rains it pours. Basically, what I'm trying to say there is, when you win a game, you're gonna figure out what you need to win by playing that game, and by figuring that out, you'll be able to win more games, and you'll be more confident in winning those games because it's just really easy to win. You'll feel like it's easy to win. You feel like you you understand how to play after about like six or so wins. Like it really does work. So. Like I said, guys, um, make sure you play along with this character if you are new or you just want to do a greater player run. Uh, because I'm going to be doing these run, uh, this run all the way until I finish. So you can actually keep pace with me. I'm playing only one game a day. Or I'm only uploading one game a day. So you're only going to know about one game per day. Um, sorry, one part per day. So I'm not playing that much. You can easily catch up to me. If you can't, that's fine. Like This is not meant to be a super um, time-constrained run anyway. Take your time, um, think about your options, but I suggest strongly that if you haven't played before, uh, if you haven't won before, if you haven't gotten greater player before, you follow this program because, or well, the path that I'm forging. Because what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to figure out what the best way to greater player is um, for a new player and for like um, just any player in general or an advanced player, just what the fastest, best way to do it is. Because I think once we get some kind of theory in regards to this like big project we'll be able to like I'll be able to have this big resource that I can just kind of point players to so that's it's kind of what I want to do so yeah if I sound um tired it's because I am ridiculously tired I tried not to say anything this this time around but um yeah right now it's like one in the morning and well I'm on holiday so it shouldn't matter but for some well not, I know what the reason is but it's been pretty brutal this uh, today. I completely am exhausted. So I'm going to end it here. Um, it's been about 28 minutes. I apologize for being so fast. Even when I'm playing as slow as I can, I'm still like sub two hours. It's just, just the nature of the way Minotaur is. Like, I'm just a little bit too good at it, I guess, now. I have played like 40, 50 Minotaur games now. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Um, like I've won a lot in Minotaur. And with a vamp weapon, you're just going to be tabbing through a lot of things you normally wouldn't. Um, but you know, that's for another day. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.